What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dermy Wormy and I'm coming at you with a new video and today today we had some uh interesting announcement that happened and this is uh Sunday when I'm recording this you watch it Monday I'm trying to put this out as early as humanly possible for you guys cuz we got we got we got something that was so predictable but awesome all at the same time Super Mario Bros has breached a billion dollars. It took, I, we knew this was going to happen. We saw this, the writing on the wall. It was going to be well received. It was continually to just break records at the box office. It is still not the highest grossing animated movie ever. I believe that is still held by Frozen 2 at one point, about $1.4 billion. Close to 1.5. I don't know if it can make that 1.5 billion dollar mark. That's kind of pushing it, in my opinion. I think it could get close. I just, I don't know. But this is its first weekend out officially in Japan. Japan got the movie, and it still isn't reporting over here. But it finally breached open over in Japan. It was released over in Korea and over in some European country. I always get the country and I forget what it is. That is good. Why Why is this movie doing so well? Because it's fun. It's there for the fans. It's, it's popular. It's beloved. This is an IP that is about 50 years old that crosses generations. And like I've been telling people when it comes to Mario... Your grandma who lives in the middle of nowhere who has three channels on her black and white television still has a wall-mounted phone with a spinning wheel to dial out. She knows who Mario is. Mario is a brand that has power, it has stay, it is well-kept, well-maintained, and people just love it. And that goes to comments over here where Shigeru Miyamoto says the Mario movie has some surpasses expectations and his reason for believing that was because of the critics it's fascinating since it's broad release globally earlier this month the illumination movie has been a huge box office success according to the latest report its third weekend was university versals highest ever in u.s and it's well on course to generate over a one billion globally now this was an older article it has already passed that marker but i do think the negative reception from the critics the attack the not understanding what fans like and what fans enjoy and the fact that this was filled with fan service to the max and was a decent movie with some decent story. I don't think it's the strongest ever. I think it's kind of weak here or there. It, it did what it needed to do, though. It wasn't trying to preach to you. It wasn't trying to tell you you're a bad person simply because of who you want to boink and who you your skin color. It just wanted to tell you a story of characters that we really like. Speaking of the Japanese press, ahead of the movie's debut in Nintendo's home country, Mario Creato Miyamoto discussed its performance and the reception from critics, which he acknowledged had been mixed. I'd have a level of ex expectations that this movie would also do well, like the Super Nintendo World theme park, but I was very surprised that it went beyond what I could have imagined when it finally came out. He said, translated by VGC contributor, Robert, whatever. You need some luck to achieve this level of success for a film, he added. While many foreign critics have given the movie relatively low ratings, I think that's also contributed to the movie's not notoriety and buzz. Yeah. We pointed out like the critics were panning this movie. They were saying, ah, oh, it's crap. It's weak. It does nothing new. It's not making him gay. It's not doing this. It's not doing that. It's only for fans. It's fan servicey. It's bad. The moment, though, you found out that, hey, it's for fans, people got interested. People wanted to go see it. People love it. If you have Craig from, uh, I just had side scrollers came out and said, movie, eh, it's okay. Not the greatest. The movie-going experience was the best of his life. 
I thought this movie was fantastic. I don't think the story's the greatest. I don't think the plot's the strongest. But it is a fantastic movie. I loved it. I'm going to buy it. And it makes me also curious about this little bit. Earlier in the press junket, Miyamoto revealed that the Japanese version of the Mario Bros. movie wasn't a straight translation of the U.S. version. Rather, Nintendo handled the Japanese script independently. The script, the dialogue, the words, everything for the Japanese version is different than the English version. That was a big push. That also convinced a whole lot of people here in the States, here that already got to see the English version, say, hey, we want to go see this other version. Now, I've heard uh, this was on the Legion stream. We had a commenter come in who's from Japan, said he's seen both. The Japanese version isn't too far different. It's mainly just some dialogue and things like that. It's not super different. Doesn't matter. That small amount of difference makes people want to go watch the movie. It keeps the buzz up. It keeps people wanting to say, hey, we want to go see this version because the Japanese versions are usually better than the English versions. Even if it's a mild change, like they change dialogue, they change songs, what have you, that is what helps push these movies forward. This helps everything. And I wish more American companies would understand that all you need Truly, all you need to do is service the fans, and everybody comes. Acknowledge who the fans are, give them what they want, and you get a good story, and everybody wins. I am happy to see this movie breach a billion dollars. I am excited to see what comes next. There's rumors of the cinematic universe that I think is going to happen. What the next movie is, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be a Mario Bros. 2, a Donkey Kong movie. There's rumors. Of a Zelda movie coming. Again, just rumors. Rumors. I want I'm I'm here for this. I am here for what Nintendo has next. But let me get you guys' thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it out with friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live, guys. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now.